What's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim. In today's video, you're gonna be seeing some awesome Guzzlord and Naginate LGX gameplay from one of my most recent streams. But before we get started, if you're looking for any awesome gift ideas for the upcoming holidays, we've got these pin collections on fullgripgames.com for just $15 a piece. Hidden Fates pin collections come with an awesome promo card, as well as three packs of Hidden Fates and a pin, as well as these monster Hidden Fates collections on fullgripgames.com. Make sure to check it out. We've only got a limited number listed. These guys are super hot right now. 15 bucks a piece is a great price point. So check them out. The link will be in the description below. Enjoy the gameplay. Now we're gonna see what our Naglord deck can do. You guys asked for some Naglord action. We'll play some Naglord. See what we can do. It's at least fun, right? Even if we never win with the deck. It was cool for like one tournament. And even then, pretty sketch. But we'll see. I think. Yeah, I definitely do like the beast energy in the deck. That's really important. This hand is horrible, so we're probably just gonna, gonna lose real quick. Top deck treasure. Tag call, that's fine. And we're playing against greens. Reshizard, that's cool. Just a couple Cynthia and Caitlin's probably feels fine. Uh, we're going to believe in the heart of the cards. We're getting Cynthia and Caitlyn, and I'm just going to draw into, you know, that little purple dude that I need to see, or a mysterious treasure. There he is, little purple dude. Told you. All right, so that's good. That's good. Dust stone. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Probably just should have waited, but it's cool. At this point, yeah, I'm just gonna pass. And then next turn, I should have waited, and then I should have. Eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's cool. So then next turn, I'll blow this up, then surge, then try to get everything together that I need in order to uh, jet pierce turn two. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna be able to orchestrate the beast bringer you know, gust, knockout, whatever. The greens deck is definitely going to be throwing these baby volcanians at me. Yo, what's up, Drag for Life? How you doing? But, uh, but yeah. I think this deck is neat. I mean, it really did struggle with Guardi Sylveon at the Latin American International Championships. There was a lot of Guardi Sylveon represented there, so that was definitely a defining feature of this deck, having to go up against a lot of Guardi Sylveon on the day. I think that Guardi Sylveon is kind of like falling out of favor, though, because Guardi Sylveon has a really tough time against uh, Turbo Reshizard, right? So that's a thing that we got to consider now. I think we'll play Tag Call. It's not really any of those cards that I want, though. So I'm just going to blow this thing up. I guess I could... Can I just devour this thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah, yeah, we just do that. That's that's cool. Sure, and then we, we blow this guy up. Cool. And we Surge. Can Cynthia and Caitlin. Hmm. Draw some more cards. Do I have three dust stones in the deck? I'm really looking for Bill's analysis. So I think we're gonna use Cynthia and Caitlin. No! I didn't surge yet. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. I guess we just need to find a dust stone. Easy, easy, easy. We'll find a dust stone. Need to search first. We did not. So, we're waiting one more turn. That seems sketch. It's cool. We got there next turn. Next turn, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're playing slow and steady wins the race, as they say. And yeah, the surge will be good later. 
I wanted to go surge Cynthia and Caitlin, find the bills, bills for the dust stone, and then just do it all this turn and take this knockout. This might actually end up playing to be better, though. I'm not sure. I haven't played this deck enough to know. But, you know, I, I don't know if it's worth, like, reaching for that knockout there. And we may be better off just trying to be more patient. Because if they bring out this thing, then I can pull off a Beastbringer play, right? And the Beastbringer play is huge. Though the Greens deck does play a lot of healing in it. So I'm not sure if I'm ever going to be able to Jet Pierce and then uh, finish up one of these for a knockout. Because they do play like tons of... Mallow and Lana's and things like that. Now, I think the most powerful play for me to do will be to, you know, wait, take a hit, and then maybe reset stamp them back to four or something because they're going to stack their hand with Brilliant Flare. And then we're going to stamp them to a low number. I mean, probably like four or so or whatever. So that's what we got. Yeah, they're going to have a huge hand. I'm going to heal a lot of this off. I got Surge, Mallow, and Lana things like that. I guess I don't really have a switch, but we could just swing with this other one. It's probably fine. Cool. So, I'm doing that. <laughs> I do know we're doing that. And then... I need to unlock B-String for sure. So I think Bill's Analysis is the best card to have us do that. Yeah. That's good. And I got B-Springer, which is sick. So if I heal 120, yeah, then they can't knock me out with Brilliant Flare. So we do have the Dust Stone, the Reset Stamp. I think the B-Springer might be ideal. Just like eventually, so I could take four prizes. Yeah. Cool. So we're going to get those. We're going to go Dust Stone, get this guy out. And then we have to Mallow and Lana. I'm going to B String too. We're going to Mallow and Lana. We're going to discard. Probably Cynthia and Caitlyn and the Dark Energy. Should have done my research and figured out like exactly which energy I have prized. So this could like really come back to bite me if I messed that up. So hopefully I didn't. And a reset stamp. And then we have a mysterious message. Oh, I guess I needed a mysterious message first. That's my bad. We needed to do that, and then we would have been cool. But it's fine. I can stamp them again. <laughs> that's, uh, that's the real BM. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, never punish, chat. Okay. So let's hope that I don't have... A bad combination of literally the gas. I have these two. Cool. They're going here. Now it is slightly unfortunate because I am down in energy. So I need to get the energy recycle thingy back, right? So let's see if we can do that. Yeah. That thing. That part. Right there. I think we do this. And then... That seems pretty good. So we could just get an energy back, attach it to this thing, and have it. It's probably fine. I think I just hold for now, though. Um, No, let's do it. Do it while we have it.
Did they fix? Man, they fixed energy recycle system. Bless up. Cool. So we'll do that. Accelerate those there. And we're just going to use Jet Pierce for 180. Do wish that I had the one with the beast energy in the active, but, you know, can't always get what you want, chat. So that's fine. We do have a very small hand. Makes me a little bit uncomfortable, but I do have the Great Catcher in my hand, so if they can't heal this thing this turn, we're bringing it out. And we will be able to punish it. Now, I need to do it with this one. <laughs> because this is the one wearing the Beast Bringer. So we're hoping that my opponent does not heal too much. If they heal 120, which they're not because they're playing greens, then um, then I can still knock them out with the beast energy. So that math is really important, and that's why the beast energy is so needed in this list because it allows you to still get those knockouts even when your opponent plays Mallow and Lana because you could deal over 200 damage, which is insane -o. So we're going to probably pull that off here. And they're going to switch this thing to the bench, try to hide. Ain't no hiding from this. Definitely no hiding from this. Great catcher. We're just going to discard the Ultra Forest and whatever our top deck is. Probably. Or if my top deck's too good, we'll bills for something to discard. Sometimes, you know, you bills just for a card to discard. Definitely done that before. So we're hoping that there's no crazy, crazy play here with some healing. I don't think that that's possible. Uh, unless they drop literally three great potions. Which I would be pretty sick. If they did that. And then it's a matter of just making sure this thing does not get knocked out somehow. And they're going to stack three. So, I mean, this is dealing 180 damage. If I take this knockout, which I can easily do, I just need to protect this guy. This guy is the guy. He is the one with the Beast Bringer. So, so long as he doesn't get... Knocked out, we have gain with our GX attack. Mallow and Lana, pretty decent card to have here. So I think... In hindsight, do we just Mallow and Lana? Yes, Mallow and Lana guarantees win. Because then I could GX with either of them. Yeah, and that's game. Literally game. Either of these guys can use Chaotic Order GX for a game. Next turn, I'm taking four prizes here, and that's it. It's a wrap. That is the check and mates. <laughs> Insane. Mbot says... When are you dropping your skate park? Mbot, thank you so much for the sub. We actually did a group watch session the other day. I uh, I let everybody see my skate park from high school uh, on stream. You missed it. I forget which day it was, but I I opened Facebook and I like played it on the stream. It was a lot of fun. Uh, it's always always cool to go back and reminisce about the good old days. I used to skateboard for hours every single day. After track practice. I used to come home from school um, right after track practice. So I would, uh, I would like, run track. And I remember, like, cell phones weren't really a thing in my high school days. So they were just coming into popularity. And my mom would always pick me up from track practice after school and she would be like, call me when you're done. And I'd be like, but I don't have a cell phone. And she'd be like, oh, well, one of your friends has a cell phone, right? Yeah, they just borrow their cell phone. I'm like, man. So, yeah, that was, uh, that was like me all of like in the middle of my high school. Oh, just, just call me with one of your friend's cell phones. So, like, I'd call with one of my friend's cell phones and be like, all right, track practice is done. And she'd come and, like, pick me up. And then uh, we got there. Let's go. 
and then I'd come home, and I my skater friends, like my crew, a little uh, my skate crew or whatever, they would literally be waiting at my house. They would just be chilling at my house at home, you know, hanging out in my room, playing Maple Story, waiting for me to get home from track practice, and then <laughs> and then uh, we would all go out and uh, and skateboard for hours after my track practice. So that that was like every single day growing up and that was uh that was so much fun i mean i love those days but yes very clear memories of track my friends hanging out at my house waiting for me to get home from track playing maple story yes i played tons of maple story my god i played during beta and up until like Cygnus Nights, I think. Uh, right around Cygnus Nights is when I eventually stopped. But Maple Story was a lot of fun. Yeah, this deck's insane. I don't know what I'm playing against, but this deck's nuts. All right, let's go. So we've got Dust Stone, all that jazz, Tag Calls. Yo, this deck is awesome. Audio Freak says, my kids just saw a phone booth for the first time last week, and we're like, what is that? Real talk. Yeah. <laughs> what is that thing? What's that, Dad? Well, let me tell you. All right, this seems fine. Yeah, I really liked the uh, the original. I had a Fire Mage. That was my original uh, Maple Story character. I probably should have ordered up first, you know, usually you order up first. Yo, this deck's insane. Let's go, chat. All right, we got, I'm going to get the ugly reverse hollow one out first. That seems, that seems nice. And then we're going to get this other one. Dude, this deck is nuts. Does not lose. Cannot lose. How could you possibly lose? And we're gonna mysterious massage. All right, get ourselves a new hand. This hand's kind of wonky. I don't actually want all these energy in my hand. That seems kind of horrible. You usually want to have the energy in the deck, so that you can b-string the energy into play. You feel? I think I kind of have to do a little bit of this. Okay. And this is unfortunate. My hand is actually so big that I don't think that I can do one, two, three, four, five, six. Ugh. Hate to see it. All right. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do any sort of like shenanigans or anything like that. Turn one, I don't think. So I'll just wait till next turn to thin this hand down more. Ugly and Rev Hollow in the same sentence. Yeah, I don't like Rev Hollows. I think the Rev Hollows are a little bit ugly. All right, raise your hand. and I want to take a poll. It's poll time. You guys ready? Ready to let your opinion be heard, chat? Now's the time. If you ever wanted your opinion heard on Tricky Jim, it's time to vote. You ready? Press 1 if you think Reverse Hollows are ugly and you would rather not play with them. Press 2... If you're really into reverse hollows and you would bling out your whole deck if you could with reverse hollows. One, for reverse hollows are ugly. Two, for, oh yeah, give me some more of that. I know we got some reverse hollow stands in the chat. Don't act like you ain't out there. I know. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Everybody's got their own taste. Everybody's got their own taste. Yo, we do got a lot of a lot of people do like do like the reverse hollows for sure. All right, gotta respect it. All right, let's take a look. Ultra space. I don't actually want more cards in my hand right now. I've got too many dang cards in my hand. Is this a this a greens ultra beast deck? Yikes. 
Um, mm, well now, I can't give up. I can eat both of these things. I think that's probably fine. I'm gonna eat these guys for sure. That's one way to thin down your hand. And then I think I need to like bills. Boo. So I'm gonna need, I think I needed to, I desperately think I needed to order pad first. In hindsight, looking at this. It's cool though. I think we're like classically never punished. I do wanna get the reset stamp though. We can reset stamp. Yeah, 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 yeah. we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Um, yes, I definitely played this, played this wrong, but it's fine. Totally chill. Order up. Now we're like super never punished. All right. So I need to thin this hand down so that I can actually use the mysterious massage. All right, there we go. We're gonna go here. I am never gonna use this great catcher. Now I can do it. Beautiful. So now we're chilling. Stamp to four. <laughs> the, mysteri <laughs> the mysterious massage, bro. <laughs> what? You've never used mysterious <laughs> massage? <laughs> God, that's too funny, man. Dude, kills me. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, we'll uh, we'll just go for the old Jet Pierce. That's fine. <laughs> what did you just call that, Andrew? I'm pretty sure that's not what the card says. Did you ever learn to read? <laughs> uh, it's one of my favorite things to do. Is to mispronounce card names. I just think it's kind of funny. I definitely uh, find it pretty humorous. All right, so they are just, uh, you know, they're just up a creek without a paddle right now. They got nothing, nothing going on. Oh, yeah, let's go, chat. Oh, boy. All right. The bills first. I got the other B string dog. I've got a Mallow and Lana. At this point, I feel like I just want to build up my attackers. I know I got enough energy in the deck to B string. So then I, my other card can just be another. But we're about to be tied. So the surge is going to be dead. So that's not what I want. It's probably just a, a Mallow and Lana. I wanted to see. <laughs> this man doesn't even tag call before bills. I wanted to see what I got off bills, and then that would inform my tag call. <laughs> but you're right. You're right, you're right. You definitely, don't do that at home, kids. All right, you definitely tag call first. There we go. And, uh, yeah, we're all loaded up, chat. We're big chilling now. I didn't, I didn't even tag call before that Cynthia and Caitlin, bro. Get at me, Riley. I can't lose this match. It doesn't matter. Today's my day. I'm just randying it up. There's nothing that that nothing nothing in this world can stop me. Even if I never play that tag call, man, I still got options. We're chilling. I'm gonna just leave that tag call right there, just for you, Riley. Just for you. It's sticking there. The whole game. I'm gonna never play it. Watch. We chilling. <laughs> Totally, totally chilling. Riley says, thanks, I like it there. I also like it there. My opponent isn't scooped yet because they really don't need that much to win. I mean, they two very strong turns, I guess, right, would get them there. They can theoretically win in two turns, and I theoretically need uh, three, but... This next turn, this is when they, they should scoop. Yeah. Uh, at this point, 
There is no point in playing these. I didn't even energy recycle system before playing that beast ring. Get at me. All right, we'll put that back into my hand. Sure. It's cool. It does not matter. Nothing can stop me, chat. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. At this point, like, what? What even matters? Nothing. Nothing ever matters. We got. Sure. Oh, they're going to scoop. Uh, they're, they're over it. They're over it. I know. I'm very excited that energy recycle system's fixed. Yo, we're going to keep riding this train until the wheels fall off, chat. Let's go. As long as we keep getting free dubs with Guz Daddy, we'll try with three Cynthia Gaitlins. I feel like I always got way too many Cynthia Gaitlins in my hand. You really only use it a couple times a game. The Surge is amazing because it allows you to, like, bills into something, you know, that you need and then do that. The three bills has been awesome. Uh, I do like that because usually the bills are like what set up your 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 plays. I mean, they're what gets you your B strings or what gets you your dust stone. The bills gets you everything. Sets the whole deck up. So, if anything, I could see cutting down on, you know, pads and going up in bills. Because it's just so good. Like turn one, I like seeing bills. That's great. You know a card I don't like seeing turn one? Cynthia and Caitlin. That card, not very good. This is more or less exactly what we want. Oh, but he says, cut a bills, please. I only have the two. Respect, you know? Love the honesty. All right. I think we just bills. Dust stone. Surge. No. Dust stone. Tag call. Yeah. That's good. Dust down, we get ourselves. Uh, Miss Maggie's. And we can tag call for our friends. Honestly, this is probably fine. Ah. We'll go there. I got the mysterious treasure in my hand, technically. Go energy here. I don't want to keep the reset stamp. We can stamp them turn one. Seems okay. I think I like that. That or I wait till next turn to stamp them to four. I will live a little. Oh, maybe I do find the reset stamp and then I reset uh, stamp them again. They knock out the mischievous turn. There's no way they knock out the mischievous turn one. If they do, then I'm V stringing. Who cares? All right. Yeah, we're cool. I don't know what deck I'm facing, but I'm a little bit scared, Jet. Yo, you said he's not attacking turn one, but look at him. He's got an ends resolve. He might mess around and uh, explosive jet me for 150. Or a hundred. Could very well. Dene GX? I'm telling you. I'm about to get body turn one. He's gonna like he's gonna get ends resolve six energy. <laughs> it's gonna be literally six fire energy. I told you, chat. I told you. I told you, told you, told you, told you. Uh-huh. 
Uh huh. You guys didn't believe me when I said he was gonna attack turn one. You didn't believe me at all. I told you. Yeah, that's pretty wild. All right, we got B string, so it's time to party. Got another one here. B string again. Loving it. Cool. Got the whole setup. Gang's all here. And I guess we're using Cynthia and Caitlin. It's cool. Just draw three cards. Get Bills back. Yeah, the real supporter that I want. That's good. And, yeah. None of those are really helping. It's fine. Tip Pierce. Yo, watch my opponent. I don't know how they managed to attach water energy and then mill three fire perfectly onto the Turtonator. I don't know what kind of business they got going on where they were able to negotiate that, but I bet my opponent benches something and then goes and resolve for three more fire and blows this thing up. <laughs> and then for game, they are going to end resolve for six fire energy and knock out my Naganade Ellen Guzzlord. I'm calling it now so that when it happens, none of us are surprised. I want you guys to all know I've called it. Okay, they hit two water. Thank goodness. Un unreal. Insane. They really are playing an ends resolve deck. This whole deck is an ends resolve deck. And welders. They're ends resolving and they're weldering every turn. Whew. My goodness. All right, so ripping the surge here was incredibly good. For sure. And we can bills. We'll order pad first and see if we get anything. We do. I mean, what what does stamp really matter at a time like this? Oh, I guess we get to, we get the tag call. Yeah, so that I can guarantee do the Mallow and Lana. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There you go, Andrew. You put two and two together. Excellent. So we're going to tag call, get these. Seem fine. And I think I'll bills first just to get more trash to throw away. You ever just do that? Just bills to get some garbage. Seems fine. And then I can I can eat that that uh, little mischievous over there. That's kind of nice. Yeah. And then we can Mallow and Lana. Get rid of two Dust Stones. Yo, we chilling. Look at that. Wow. Heal it all. And then I'll uh, Jet Pierce. Cool. And then I've got a Mallow and Lana for next turn too, because I suspect that we're probably gonna eat a. Dragon Arcana for 140. That's the hope, okay? The po Don't act like I made that up, okay? Don't act like Violent Appetite. It says, literally, once during your turn, you may discard a Pokemon from your hand, heal 60 damage from this Pokemon. The ability is called Violent Appetite. What do you think is happening to that Pokemon, chat? What do you think is happening? All right. Put two and two together. The Guzzlord is eating the Pokemon. That is what's happening. Don't call it violent appetite for a reason. It's not just appetite. It's a violent appetite. It says it right there. Violent. Okay? Violent appetite. He's eating the Pokemon. It's a violent thing. What's going on here? Please say it ain't so. Chat. No. 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 <laughs> no. Oh my god! What just happened? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Say it ain't so, chat. Say it ain't so. <laughs> oh, I'm so bothered. <laughs> I don't even have a reset stamp. I've got nothing in my hand. Oh my gosh. I've got nothing to do. I was planning on using Mallow and Lana's. 
Unreal. Discard all basic energy from this Pokemon that's attacked as 80 damage for each card you discard in this way. Oh, jeez, chat. <coughs> My hand was not ready for that. I was expecting to just take some Dragon Arcanas. All right, we'll Mallow and Lana back and forth. Back and forth. This is fine. No way, dude. No way. Say it ain't so. There's absolutely no way this is going down like this. You're not ruining my good day by beating me with your Dragonium Z deck, okay? Do not pass go. Do not collect 200. It is not happening. No chance, no way, no how. Definitely not. All right, we can, we can deal with the... Uh, the Dragon Claw there. Fortunately, I can surge, but I have no supporters in hand. I wish I had a Bill's Analysis or something, but uh, alas, no. That is not what we got. Oh, geez. All right, well. We just got to hope they ain't got it like that. That's all we can do. All I can do. Hope they ain't got it. That's it. If they get knockout on me next turn, you know what? It's been real, chat. Gonna do violent appetites. And we're using Jet Pierce. Fingers crossed, chat. Fingers crossed. He about to do it. He got an Ends Resolve or Welder. <clears throat> no, Welder doesn't get him there. Three energy. We got there, chat. Thank goodness. Whew. I thought he was going to Ends Resolve for six fire. But he had End Resolve so many times, I'm pretty sure all of his Ends Resolve were in the discard pile. So we really just barely, you know, skirted away with that one. I'll take it. That's fine. Looks like this might be Malamar? Tortoise? I feel like I play against Tortoise all the time. As soon as we lose, if I take another crushing loss with this deck, I'm out of here. But, you know, as I said before, we will ride till the wheels really fall off. We, we hit a bump in the road when we played against Dolstall and we realized that we needed some techs in the deck in order to beat Dolstall. But I think we just lose to this Malamar deck. Because they are playing, uh, hello, yes, the, uh, yes, the the big scary guy. Who is it? Ultra Necrozma? Is it an Ultra Necrozma? Oh, it's Ultra Necrozma, right? Sorry, I'm having a boomer moment. I'm just forgetting things. Yeah, Ultra Necrozma. That's what we're worried about. Stonewall, as much as I love Slow Duck, I bought Slow Ducks. I have that deck, you know, ready to be built. I think Slow Duck is pretty dead. Uh, I think, unfortunately. I think, let's see, what killed Slow Duck? Turbo Reshizard. I think that deck really did uh, give it a bad time. I don't know. Maybe we could play, like, maybe Mallow and Lana's help Slow Duck. It's possible, I guess, right? That you could. Uh... The thing is that Slow Duck can't beat. Slow Duck can't beat any of the welder decks not a single one of them slow duck can't beat mewtwo slow duck can't beat uh reshizard slow duck can't beat baby bocephalon slow duck yeah it's it really bad for slow duck i don't think slow duck takes a single positive matchup and i love that deck i mean i do it's just sketch all right, let's uh, let's find some things. What are we, what are we trying to do here? I'm gonna end up having to use bills, so I think we're trying to get our dudes out. Hello, dude one, dude two. Welcome. This hand is trash. Gotta say, I think I actually want this instead. And then, suppose I can Viridian get an energy out of the deck. Seems fine. And it is uh, time to build. 
So you're saying there's a chance, chat. You're saying there's a chance. Order up. <laughs> oh, God, yes. <laughs> Woo. Order up. All right. But they probably ain't got no GXs over there, do they? Nope. That's fine. Yeah, we're definitely getting that. And probably got to get this great catcher out of here. That's not going anywhere fast. <laughs> no, this is Patrick. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo. <laughs> is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. <laughs> Man, I love SpongeBob. I, w I got so geeked when I saw the... Uh, well, I'm definitely not reset stamping my opponent. I got so geeked. Um, yeah, we gotta do this. When I saw the uh, the new trailer for the SpongeBob movie, that looks so cool. Really excited. All right. Well, hopefully they don't like attack my Blacephalon. That would really grind my gears. But if they do. I can be string and surge and stuff, so maybe that would be fine. Maybe it's fine if they attack my guy. I know. Jason, I agree. I was always, like, kind of old watching SpongeBob, though, so I really did appreciate, like, the SpongeBob humor, if that makes sense, because, you know, Boomer and everything. So I was, like, in high school when I was watching most of SpongeBob, and I really loved it. But I will agree that as I got older, uh, SpongeBob got funnier. Uh, that is that trajectory was absolutely true. You know, in the early two thousands, I was, uh, yeah, I was in high school. Graduated in two thousand and seven, and that those were like some primo SpongeBob years, for sure. I know, Beazle Bozo, feels bad, man. Capitalism. Uh. All right. Um, this is fine. I think I'm going to surge. My opponent's got a two-card hand. So that's kind of neat. I like that. We can B-string. I'm definitely not going to reset stamp. I think I'm going to Bills. Cynthia and Caitlyn first, then Bills. I'm going to Cynthia and Caitlyn. Um, and we're going to take back the Bills for sure. And then I think I'm going to Bills. And my hope is I want to, I am going to gust up and I'm going to hit into the this thing. I and I want to take four prizes with it. I am going since they benched this for me, I'm doing it. Like they got a two card hand. Let's go, chat. Um, I think it is bill time though. Let's uh let's order pad first. The broken deck. Oh, well, I prized my other catcher. So here's to hoping that they just don't have switch. That's fine. Yeah, that will be fine. And we're just going to Bills. Oh, we got a tag call. That's good. One of that. And I also think I wanted another B-string. So that we can go get ourselves another big boy into play. And we're also going to want another... Mallow and Lana seems fine. So here he comes, here comes Speed Racer. He's a demon on wheels. You guys ever, man, I had this like album growing up. It was like Saturday morning cartoons, like songs though. It was like the songs from Saturday morning cartoons. That was lit. I liked that a lot. Had the Speed Racer song on it. I thought that was really cool. All right. Yep. 
think we're just going here. And uh, we're going to say, hopefully you ain't got a switch there, bud. Yeah, might as well put that down. Maybe he ain't got it. Let's see. He's got a three-card hand. Let's go, chat. Let's go. My goodness. Yes. Whew. We did it. Today is our day. Beautiful. Free dubs everywhere. Keep it rolling. Looks like we're playing against some sort of fire, metal, colorless. I didn't see lightning, though. So usually we see fire, metal, colorless, and lightning for Turbo Reshi. But we'll see. See, I'm telling you, the order pads make or break this deck sometimes. Like, we've got this weird hand, and it's just like, order up. All right, let's go get ourselves the... I know, girl cat. Wow, today we've actually been able to get some win streaks going. Wow. Like, I'll take it. Four or five at a time? All right. All right. You ready for this chat? Best Nicktoon. Go. Best Nicktoon. Let me hear it. And if you tell me any Nicktoon that started after the year 2010, you get disqualified. All right. Best Nicktoon. If it's after 2010, you're disqualified. And that's that's very lenient. I could say after 2005, but I'm going to say after 2010. Animaniacs was Cartoon Network. Nickelodeon. Right? And I'm pretty sure Animaniacs is Cartoon Network. Hey Arnold, I think Cini, I think I agree with you. I do think Hey Arnold, Hey Arnold was like formative in literally me learning about who I was as a person. Like I learned morals from Hey Arnold. I learned like how to be a good kid from Hey Arnold. Like that show was amazing. Huh, you don't say. Courage the Cowardly Dog is Cartoon Network, but that was one of the best shows on Cartoon Network. I love Courage the Cowardly Dog. Yes. Hey Arnold or Cat Dog, we got a lot for Hey Arnold. I'm, obviously SpongeBob is very good. Rocco's Modern Life is funny. Fairly Odd. Natalie really likes Fairly Odd Parents. Stoop kids gonna leave a stoop. Stoop kids gonna leave a stoop. I liked Rocket Power a lot. Doug was also very good. Angry Beavers is funny. For sure, for sure. Yeah, Rugrats was Nickelodeon. Definitely. <laughs> yes, I think, uh, I do think Hey Arnold was my favorite, though. I felt like every episode I watched, I felt like I was learning, you know? And it was like, it was probably crazy, because I was probably learning a lot from watching Hey Arnold, but, but it was fun, though, and I loved it, right? But... As a kid, it was like probably actually really enriching as well, like learning these different kind of life struggles and things like that. Oh, I thought I was playing against Pidgeotto. No, this is all of a sudden way less fun. I can't beat that. Well, let's see what we can do. I'm trying to go Blacephalon, Girl Cot. That's what I'm trying to do. And this is not turn one, unfortunately. This is uh, this is turn two. But we're going to see if we can't go do 12 and KO both Pidgeys or something. We're going to Surge. Bench. 
I mean, we're going to probably give up three prizes, so we're going to try and get the third Miss Magius going so that we can Blacephalon. So I think ideally we want to Cynthia and Caitlin first. Guess I'm getting Surge back. Because I don't want to promote this. See, tag call. Huh. It's probably fine. All right, yeah, obviously we got to bench it. And then I've already surged once question is like we could probably eat this thing and the question is do I mysterious message I think I Cynthia and Caitlin again because I'm looking for a mysterious treasure like I need I need the nuts off of this for sure so we're gonna try and just get that again I gotta bring back the Ultra Forest, apparently. We got a treasure. Okay, so that's pretty good. We'll go here. Get rid of that. So we're going here. And I just need to find another treasure. And we're gonna go Dust Stone. So now I have another free retreater. Right? Because we're gonna go... Mysterious message. Boom. Man. No breaks, huh? I do I just need to find a mysterious treasure. At this point, if I find mysterious treasure, we're in there. So we could B string twice. No, I can't do it because I don't have it. Wait, 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 wait. Huh. I don't have a way to snipe 12. Because I, I don't have a way to retreat out of this Miss Maggie is here. I'm blowing up three because I'm trying to go in with the Blacephalon. That's what I'm going for, chat. I'm going for the Blacephalon play to snipe 12. I'm going to go stamp, stamp, snipe 12, and then I'm going to try and snipe 12 again. That's been the game plan the whole time. You guys uh, might not have been there, but that, that's where I'm at. Right. Right. So, like, <laughs> that's that's what we're going for. All right. It's, uh, it's not going to be pretty, but let's see. I don't think we actually want those. Yeah. Right, we have to B-string all to the same one. And then I, do I blow up and then, st I think I stamp to four. Oh, no, it's, <laughs> it's all good, CD. It's all good. <laughs> I don't care. I'm just like, I'm just like, there's no way I misplayed this. I'm pretty sure I'm doing it right. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, here we go. Bro, chat, let's go, come on, come on, chat, I need it, I need it, yo, let's go, turn up, okay, oh, yeah, let's go, chat, let's go, all right, all right, all right, so here, <laughs> it's a neck, okay, Uh, and I think we go the Pidgeys, right? We stamp again. All right, Horizon Fire, 100 bits says, okay, sometimes you hit, right? And 
and <laughs> we just fireworks bomb. Oh, we put six of on these. Please, do not let me get punished for this. Come on, let's go. I need this. I need this so bad. Oh, let's go. Come on, let me get one more fireworks bomb. Let me get one more. I'm just trying to like fire fireworks bomb for 12 more cards. Or for 12 more damage counters. And then we just need to GX. Now, I am like totally out of energy in my deck. <clears throat> So I need to find another energy stat, but uh, hopefully we bought ourselves some time. I'm going to be pretty salty if this guy just gets knocked out. I know. All I need to do is fireworks bomb one more time. Come on. That's the turn two fireworks bomb. Insane deck. And we got there with the lecture, though? The lecture? Or not the lecture. Uh, we got there. What am I saying? The lecture. The hard retreat. He's playing lecture. We got there with the hard retreat to get into the. We got there with the order pad. The order pad was the key card. I can't believe we got it. Order up, chat. So he's using lecture. That means he ain't got it like that. So he's gonna give me the opportunity to take two more prizes with fireworks bomb. Now, what do you think? Maybe. If he puts down, like, two Pidgeys, I can take two more prizes, but... Do you think I just knock out the Vulcephalon, go to three? I think that's probably the play, right? Unless I can take two prizes, we're definitely taking out that thing. Insane deck. Oh, I'm feeling better about the game today, for sure. Let's go. We're in there. We're in there. I gotta give him the. I gotta smack him with the smiley face. I'm feeling good. Yeah, we're going. Fireworks bomb. It's gotta be just this fella over here, for sure. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm not dealing with any of that noise. He has 120 hit points, right? Be gone. All right, thank goodness. I didn't look, but I was pretty sure it was 120, so I was going to be kind of salty if it was, like, 130. <laughs> I was going to be real sick. If it was 130, I was going to feel real bad about myself. But pretty sure we're just uh, we're just getting in there. Yo, Blacephalon v. Blacephalon, insane deck. This card you can win any matchup with. Stamp to three, fireworks bomb, fireworks bomb, fireworks bomb. <clears throat> Yo, what's up, Nick? We uh, we cracked the Guzzlord deck thanks to Lily and Brady. Insane, insane Blacephalon in here. You just stamp to low and you can fireworks bomb your way to a free matchup. Now, we could still lose. I'm very excited right now, but we could definitely still lose. If they, like, to, this is the turn. If they are able to whip up something crazy this turn, they could make it happen. I don't think that 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 he's going to be able to do it, though. I am out of energy in deck, though, so I desperately need a draw card or I need to find an energy to use my GX attack for game. I don't have it right now. So, you know, the Beast Ring is not getting me there. Right, if he puts Pidgeys down, I just Fireworks Bomb them, so that's crazy. Let's see how many energy we have in the discard. Three, one. And then I have one, two, three, one. Yeah, so I have all eight energy accounted for. Uh, my Beast Energy is still at large. So the Beast Energy is out there. Let's take a look at the deck real quick. The Beast Energy is in deck. That's it. I literally, and my recycle thing is prized. Okay. So, Brady, this is a case of me needing the recycle, the recycle thing. I'm just pointing it out just to point it out. We do need the recycle thing right now. This would be a good time for it. So I was not about to cut that at all.
10. All right, and sure, two. Got to take out the nine tails. So like, obviously, <clears throat> there's the energy recycle system, the game winning energy recycle system right there, Chad. So long as he doesn't have a Blacephalon and everything he needs right now, I win. But he might have it. He played the Ninetales, so maybe he doesn't play catchers. Oh, he totally has it. Come on, no. He totally has it, doesn't he? I think he's got it, chat. He just needs a great catcher. He for sure has all the energy. Abyssal Wolf, I just need to put the uh, the cycle system back into my... I just need to put the energy back into my hand. No. Oh, no. Ah, so sad. We lost. We were so close. So, so close, chat. I'm crushed. Absolutely crushed. I know. Did you see how much fun we had? We almost did it. I needed one more reset stamp. But they were both, I put them both down. So, unfortunate. My opponent was able to walk that one out. If I had one more reset stamp there at the end, almost enough time to get there, but not quite. All right. It has been a wonderful stream, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Beazle Bozo, for the bits. We're going to be back tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Y'all know what the deal is. Beazle Bozo said, picked up a Galar collection at lunch for the Sobble Pin for my jacket. Ripped both Dedenne GX and Guznag. Gas pulls, Beazle Bozo. That's amazing. All right, we're going to see if uh, JW is streaming. Usually he's streaming at about this time. Let's see. Is he, is he streaming? It does look like JW is streaming. So let's head on over to Flex Daddy. It's time for JW stream. Thank you guys all for the viewership. Thank you for the bits, the gifted subs, the follows. You guys rock.